The British are coming, and so are the auditors. What does it all mean? It means we've got some brand new teams on the joust this time around. Three new teams, and we get to see the Super Crashers in action, plus DC is back. Let's head into the garage and take a closer look. The Auditors are a brand new team, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. There are a few Audis on the team, but mostly their color scheme is what they have in common. DC Distinguished Competition is back with a brand new lineup, except for Shazam, who was their outstanding player last season. Get out your biscuits, keep calm, and motor on are here with a distinctly British flavor. The Producers. These are all cars that the five people who work on Junkyard Joust either drove or drive currently. The Super Crashers. We got to see how this team came together, and now we're ready to see if they can take it further. In case you hadn't heard, the Junkyard Juice lawsuit was resolved. Looks like they've got a brand new flavor. Jeff, your thoughts? You know, before we accept this uh, Junkyard Juice as a sponsor, perhaps we should run some tests on it. Well, the Klingons and Barb and Bean seem excited. I get the feeling that Junkyard Juice is preparing for some sort of ad campaign. I guess we'll see what happens. It's a delicate blend of I don't know what and uh... In the meantime, it's time to joust. Round one, here we go. Starting off with the auditors. The Audi 90 Quattro, sponsored by Emo Dingo, takes to the track down all the way to the end. And now the Fat Fendered 40 will be coming down for Keep Calm and Motor On, sponsored by Sid from Cybertron. Keeping calm and staying on the track, that's always good. Next up, Harley Quinn for DC, sponsored by Bentley's Brakes and Bumpers. Harley Quinn slots in, does not go off the back of Fat Fender. Three cars lined up. First up for the producers, 2018 Honda Civic Type R, driven by AJ Rotini, sponsored by Chome. Big hit, only knocks Evil Weevil off the track though, and now we've got four. First up for the Super Crashers, the Kenworth Cab Over Racing Transporter, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. The cab over smashes into place and finally gets somebody off the track. Harley Quinn gets squeezed off the track, but stays level and escapes. The Renault Sport RS, sponsored by Farty Marty. The Renault bounces right off the back of the cab over and goes upside down, takes itself out basically, but you gotta give some credit to the cab over, it did not move. Royal Flash, sponsored by Pick Your Sticker. Royal Flash hits the back of the cab over, manages to hang on though, not go off the track yet. Plastic Man, sponsored by the Miskatonic Automotive Club. Plastic Man shoots Royal Flash up on top of the cab over where it gets hung up. Plastic Man locked in. Toyota Prius, sponsored by Mark the Music Lover and driven by me. Well, since I'm announcing it's not actually driven by me, I told him just to put a brick on the accelerator and it seems to have done the trick. The Royal Flash taken out. Nice job, Prius. Cookie is gonna be going down in the 57 Thunderbird for the Crasher, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. Cookie slams into the Prius, goes flying all over the place, bounces off Plastic Man, lands on the cab over briefly, and ends up face first in the turn. Impressive feat of bouncing, and now both those cars are looking vulnerable. 94 Audi Avant RS2, sponsored by Sloss Automotive Sachet and Buffet. And bam, I was worried about that. There goes the Prius, immediately turned over and out. Also took down the Thunderbird, a nice hit by the Audi. The Morris Mini for Keep Calm and Motor On, sponsored by Moo Cow Horse Farm. The Mini stops dead on the back of the Avant. It bounces back a little bit. A lot of cars lining up here. We don't have any ramps. We don't have much for undercutting either, except for Shazam, who's got a little undercutting going on, sponsored by Chorgoth the Infinite Horror. Shazam cannot get under the Mini though, and slots in. Subaru WRX STI, driven by Dead Max, sponsored by Sean's Toy Room. The Subaru hits a wall. Shazam will not move, and it backs down the track. Here comes the Wildlife Truck, sponsored by Rip Ash. The Wildlife Truck cannot take down the Subaru and firms up the line. That's about it. The Sirocco GT24, sponsored by Beaks Busted Barn Finds. Sirocco slams into the line, and oh boy, Dead Max's car breaks in half. 
reminds me of Wreckfest just a little bit. That is some glorious destruction right there. And this could actually be bad for Shazam. Troubled Decker coming down now, 69 grams. Sponsored by Underdogs Unleashed. Troubled Decker does the damage, and look at that. The wildlife truck knocked off and eliminated. The Subaru completely broken to pieces. The bottom part's still left on the track, though, and that part is right side up. Shazam escapes, and the Troubled Decker stays upright. Phantom for DC, sponsored by Reaper EOD. Phantom slams into the line, and what's left of Dead Max's car escapes to safety. I guess that's a good thing. Here comes Jesse Glasner's car, the Saturn Astra, sponsored by Sicken. Nice hit there as the Saturn tries to escape. Can't quite do it. Treble Decker is going over, though, and that thing is not going to do well off the track. Speedboat, sponsored by Chicken Rings, I mean, wait. Speedboat flies off the back of the Phantom, takes down Troubled Decker, and then somehow, inexplicably, lands upside down. That is some seriously bad luck for the Super Crashers. That boat was gonna help them get into the main event, but it's not now. The 84 Audi Sport Quattro, sponsored by Milo's Motor Menagerie. The Phantom refuses to budge, pretty heavy car. And I'm noticing that there's three auditors on the track right now. Smokin' Grill, sponsored by StarCore Industries. 71 grams and it still can't get anywhere. This is a tight line. Here comes Black Manta, sponsored by Judy Collins. Black Manta gets a little bit of action. One of the Audis gets forced up on top of Smokin' Grill. Settles back down, but it's definitely loose. A gigantic Ford Fiesta was the only one we could find for Tony Mayer, sponsored by Jesus. 74 grams smack, and the Audi is finally forced almost off the track. No eliminations there, though. Here comes the Ferrari Testarossa, sponsored by Regal Radio. The Ferrari takes a shot at the Ford Fiesta, gets underneath it. That is the final car of the round, so the Ford Fiesta will be safe. Only seven eliminations in the round out of 25 cars. Got some pretty good survivors here. And I could almost say seven and a half because we did lose half of a car. Let's take a look at the aftermath. The Super Crashers took the brunt of the damage here, losing three cars down to two. Keep Calm and Motor on down to three. The Auditors and the Producers are down to four. Distinguished Competition did not lose a car and they'll start us off with Harley Quinn. The randomized running order for round two is up. Harley Quinn slots into place. Followed up by the Audi 90 Quattro, which glides into position. The producers start off with the Ford Fiesta, which lines up. Can't get any eliminations. Man, that car's big. Also, I don't know if you ever owned a Ford Fiesta, but apparently they all come with a big screw in the back. Strange. Fat Fendered 40 slots in and the line is growing. Some debris, but no eliminations. The Kenworth cab overhits a solid line and cannot control itself. It's tossed off the track almost completely, but it is in a tough position right there. Gotta be careful here. Black Manta charges and takes the cab over down. Takes itself out in the process, but that was a major elimination. That was gonna be a tough vehicle to take down and Black Manta just did it. Super Crashers are in trouble. Big hit by the Avant splits the field. The Fat Fender 40 gets eliminated. Ford Fiesta does not. Just kind of slides off and keeps it level. What's left of the Subaru WRX STI is going down the track now. Not much offense left in this car, but you never know, could be a good survivor in the shape it's in. Smokin' Grill tosses the Subaru half off the track, throws it around a little bit, but Subaru recovers. The Audi Avant pushed forward, but manages to come back in the same position. The last remaining member of Super Crashers slots in behind Smokin' Grill. That Ferrari's gotta stay alive. The Phantom packs a punch, unfortunately takes out one of its own teammates, Harley Quinn squeezed off the track and goes upside down, loses her balance, and the Ferrari does not lose its balance, stays in for the moment. The Sirocco collides with the Phantom and the Ferrari goes up on top of it. 
A big hit from the Honda Civic, and that is gonna do it for Super Crashers. Some really bad luck for their team, but ultimately this version of the team just didn't have what it takes. Hopefully they'll be back to try it again. Morris Mini bounces off the back of the Civic, almost gets away, can't quite do it. Shazam gets under the Civic and starts to lift it up. Next hit could be trouble. And it was the Audi Sport Quattro takes out the Civic. The producers lose another one. Somehow does not take out its own teammate. That was a fantastic job by the Audi. The Saturn Astra takes down Phantom, knocks it over upside down and out. That's a loss for DC who so far have not lost a car. Now they've lost two. Plastic Man wants revenge, does not get it, takes itself out, flips over upside down, and look at that recovery by the Saturn. Flying all over the place, lands down by the tires. Wow, what a recovery. Even hits the junkyard joust truck. Bad news for Plastic Man, final car of the round, so no chance for recovery. And we actually got more eliminations in this round than in the first round. Eight eliminations. Most of them DC, four. DC devastated in that round. Now down to one car, just Shazam. And the Auditors take the lead with four cars still. They did not lose one that time. Keep Calm down to two. The Producers down one to three. And the Super Crashers are finished. Starting us off in round three, the Audi 90 Quattro for the Auditors. Doing well so far, four left in the match. Kind of an unassuming team, but they are doing well. Maybe it's got something to do with their mysterious logo. Smoke and Grill tosses the remnants of that Subaru all the way up to the front, tosses it nice and high, reaches a five, and then somehow flips over and lands it. Wow, that will keep the producers in the match. Shazam punches Smoke and Grill, cannot get underneath. Smoke and Grill's got some protection back there, and we got three lined up. The Audi Avant tries to throw Shazam off the track, basically succeeds, but it makes a recovery, flips up and flips back down again to safety. The Ford Fiesta slots into place, and now we got a tight line of four. The Morris Mini does more of the same. No eliminations yet. The Sirocco bobbles it a little bit, but stays on the track, nice and locked in. A little bit loose. Tight enough, though, that the Saturn hits a wall, flips over itself, and goes off the track sideways. If it stays like that, it will be the first elimination of the round, and a loss for the producers. A huge hit from the Audi Sport, but everybody stays on, and now there's four Audis on the track. This team dominating the competition right now. Last car of the round. That means just the Saturn Astra was eliminated. The producers fall down to two. Tied with Keep Calm and Motor On. Auditor steady at four. DC at one. Here comes another Audi. Taking its place down at the bottom. Ooh, Smoke and Grill makes a big mistake and slides along the edge of the track, and that is almost certainly going to end its run. An easy takedown. So easy that even that light little Subaru can do the trick. And there goes Smoke and Grill. The Subaru is curbside. Shazam shoots underneath the Subaru. Also gets underneath that Audi, but the Audi is too wide. Stays steady and escapes. Subaru just stays right on the track. Ooh, a nice takedown by the Avant, and that is going to be another loss for the producers. They are down to just the Fiesta. Morris Mini takes a crack at the two cars on the track, and now they are both vulnerable, but so is the Mini. Ooh, the Ford Fiesta misses a great opportunity for takedowns right there. Everybody escapes to safety. Not enough power in that Fiesta to do the job. And now the Auditors capitalize on that Fiesta's position, throw it up into the safety area sideways. That is going to knock the producers out of this match, and this could be it if they don't somehow recover. The Audi Sport slams into its own teammate, bounces back. I saw some paint fly. Nothing else happens, though, and that is definitely the end of the match. Look at the Auditors. Man, what they've done in this match is pretty impressive. 
Whether they can pull that off in the main event, well, I guess we'll find out. The producers are knocked out of the match. Keep Calm and Motoron lost one, but they are still in with the mini. The bonus action obviously going to the auditors who scored 40 points. And here are your three teams that are moving on to the main event. They join all these teams, and there is just one qualifier left before we start the main event. We got a couple more home joust sets I'd like to show you. These are pretty great. That is a steep hill right there. And here you go, nice simple setup on this one. Simple or complex, it's still fun. And here is the backyard joust. This one looks like fun. Thanks for watching the Joust, everybody. We'll see you next time for another custom matchup. Don't forget to tell your friends about Junkyard Joust and become a patron if you'd like to support the show. See you next time.